morning collective how are you guys doing today i want to do a quick energy check check to see what's going on behind the scenes what spirit guides want us to know um what's what you know what we may not know about okay so when it comes to tarot it's not about gender it is about energy i could um this could be past energy this could be current energy near future energy okay um i could be saying you it could be them i could be saying he it could be a she um you want to take what resonates leave the rest for the next person i pick up different energies in every reading okay so flip-flop yourself where you see fit okay let's get right into this <clears throat> Messages today for the collective. to hit that subscribe guys hit the subscribe button if you like the content that i'm bringing to you okay guys i appreciate all of you guys new subscribers ones that have been here for me since the beginning as well okay the channel is growing and i'm very very appreciative of you guys Show us the cards we need to see. Show us the cards we need to see. Earth Angel. Earth Angel is the first card. Some of you guys are Earth Angels. Ace of Cups. Earth angels are here to teach people. They come down from, they come to Earth to help teach people about unconditional love. Okay. The second card is Ace of Cups. Look, Earth angel. Oh. Ace of Cups. Love, a gift from God. That's what they are. That's exactly what an Earth angel is. They're here to teach people about unconditional love, not conditioned love. Somebody was plotting against the earth angel, an empress. They thought they were untouchable. Oh, what the fuck, yo. God sees everything. God hears everything. Somebody, we have somebody was plotting on, on an empress and earth angel. Six six six. Six 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 talks about um, raising your vibration, balancing your thoughts. this person was got very jealous you're not allowed to be with anyone else if it's not them that's crazy they're a very jealous person whoever was plotting against this earth angel the empress To your higher, to your higher spiritual calling. There was a lot of hate around this empress, the surfing jewel. 
you guys are in serendipity. Spirit said, continue to do things by the book. Wow. You are a chosen one. This is faded for you guys. King of Wands. This could be um, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Prepare for lights, cameras, and action. Prepare for lights, cameras, and action. Whoever this person was, I was plotting against this earth angel. Sold their soul to the devil. That's crazy. seen and heard everything every private little thought that they thought that they were going to do yeah queen of cups love cups talks about love this earth angel is here to teach people about love unconditional love and somebody was plotting against her this is a chosen person this is a chosen person by the by god by divine this is a chosen person, somebody who was faded. Shit, man. The moment that they decided to go against this person, they cursed their life. It was a bad decision the moment that they did that. The moment they thought about it. What does the card say? God sees everything. God hears every private little thought. Somebody was plotting to go against this person and trying to take her out. And I'm not talking about like physically. Out. Okay. It could be physical. Trying to physically take somebody out. Or it could be just trying to slander. Backstab do unjustifiable shit to this person yeah oh show me the card let me just see who was doing this This is the devil card in this deck. This is the devil's card in this deck. A lot of people think that the devil comes to you and to, with two horns and um, a red face. No, he does not. This is how he comes looking to you. He or she. And this is exactly what they did. Puppied. They try to puppy and sell. They try to bind this earth angel's soul to the devil God said what what this king of wands We did see the king of wands first. And now he came out again. The king of wands is supposed to be somebody who's like a, a visionary leader, action oriented, like a go getter. Um, take charge. 
Wands talks about passion, creativity, um, what fuels your soul. This person had a lot of pride and ego, a lot of passion. Yeah, oh my God, Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We have a true divine counterpart here already. Three of Pentacles. They want to collaborate with you now. They're no longer in their head. Six of Cups. Um, yeah. They have a lot of love for you. Three of Cups. See what's going on. King of Pentacles again. It was all for the money. This person wanted money, 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 money. That's what they thought about. They wasn't thinking with their heart. They wasn't leading with their heart. They gained the enlightenment though. This person gained the enlightenment. That you guys are what? Twin flames. Twin flames. Spirit was working on this person when they went into hermit mode. And now they want to come and offer you this commitment. Yeah, four of wands. Twin flame. This earth angel, queen of wands, this empress, okay, she has a lot, she had to walk away, eight of cups to evolve, she had to walk away from the bullshit, she walked away with the last little spark she had there for that person, she had to walk away to evolve to her son. To gain that confidence, that passion, that love for self. And she had to nurture herself. Yeah. Whatever they did to this person. It was all for the money. They put their love and passion into money. They were working on themselves, so they went into hermit mode, started working on themselves. That's exactly what they did. This queen, this empress had to do that. This earth angel had to work on herself, had to separate herself. You know, when, when before she became an empress, you, you become, you know, a queen first. In order to become an empress, gain the energy of an empress, there's a lot of work that comes with that. The Empress is all four queens in the deck. And this Empress, before she became an Empress, she had to go through each thing to help self-heal herself from this bullshit. She's a star. Look at this. Ace of Swords. I mean, Queen of Swords. We have three queens already out here. A star. A star was born once once this betrayal happened. This tower happened. A star was born. She remembered who the fuck she was. And God said, that's destiny. This was fated to happen. This was in the fates. This was success. This person healed properly. She didn't get low like these people did. Mm -hmm. God seen and heard everything. Every private little thought. This person did this to who? Their twin. Their divine counterpart. 
they did this to their twin. They try to break and bind her soul to the fucking devil. The divine stepped in. I said, what? What are you trying to do to my earth angel? What are you trying to do to her? You trying to do what to her soul? You trying to bind her soul to who? You trying to make her a puppet for who? The devil? Get the fuck out of here. God came in and blew up that whole foundation. Tower on their ass. Tower on their motherfucking ass. Wheel of Fortune faded. This was a faded that um, partnership. After going into hermit mode, this person realized what they did. They realized. Now they want to come in. They regret doing this to her, juggling her. And now they want to come and collaborate and offer a commitment. They just talks about messages. They want to send a message of a commitment. They want to collaborate. And they want to what? Balance this out. Yeah. Yeah, they're manifesting this. Show me the cards I need to see. This earth angel was a gift from God to this king. The king of wands. God gave, handed this person this gift, this earth angel. Hand picked her for him. And this is what he did. Or she take it where it resonates, guys. <sighs> the Hierophant. Hierophant talks about um, spiritual commitment. They realized the spiritual commitment in this. They realized after going into hermit mode, they realized this is my twin. This is my divine counterpart. What the fuck was I trying to do? What the fuck was I trying to do? You should never judge a person, a book by the covers. You never know when you're encountering an earth angel, a chosen person. So I always teach my kids, stay humble, be compassionate, open doors. You see somebody struggling, help, if you could help. Yeah, they have a deeper understanding now of this commitment. This person has a deeper understanding they gained the wisdom that they needed to understand what the fuck was going on here. They wish that they could have invested in you. They wish that they would have invested in you. They have regret. They have a lot of love for you, though. They have a lot of love, King of Cups. All that love. They were scared to show their love for love. This is what I'm getting in this picture. His heart. The King of Cups, it talks about love, emotions, but they're very stern. They don't like to show their emotions. They tuck it away so far away that nobody could see it. This guy put his heart, his feelings, his emotion in that ship and, and sailed it away. 
all they were thinking about was the money. The mundane shit. Not caring about nobody else's feelings or who they were hurting. They would think they were selfish. Mm -hmm. They thought, yeah. Eight of Swords. They had to self-reflect. They had to self-reflect. Look it. They had to self-reflect what they were doing. They were self-sabotaging. And this right here, if she's looking right in here, right? And when she looks in the mirror, this is what she sees. Her hands tied, bound to the situation. But right here, she's not. He had to realize he was not bound to the devil. He had to break free. It was an illusion. He had to break free from that illusion. That old way of thinking, whatever it was. Mm, and heal. Yeah, and get out of his motherfucking head. Having all those devil low entities, low vibrational people all up in his head. Confusing him. Look at him. His true self back here. Like, hey, man. What the fuck? <sighs> yeah. He had to break free. That tower was needed to liberate himself so that he could gain a better understanding of what the fuck was happening here. Yeah, death for rebirth, guys. Death for rebirth. to find that that passion of himself all those people that kept knocking him down whatever how many whatever it was this person had to reach and find the fire and the passion within himself his love his heart wow because what did he do with it He sent that shit sailing the fuck away. You see the, the illumination right here on his head? Wow. In order for him to find his happy happy, he had to go, he went through all of these struggles, conflict, chaos, drama, endings. Pentacles. We have all four queens out. You self love. You nurtured yourself back. You put that love back in your self collective. You put your, that love back in yourself. You nurtured yourself. And now this person wants to come in and collaborate. Six of Pentacles. They see victory and success with you after they went through all of that shit. They want to balance this out. They wish that they would have invested in you. They're like, what the fuck did I do? What was I trying to do? Sold their soul to the devil. Spirit said, yeah. Continue to do things by the book. This person thought that they were untouchable. God said, no, 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 You're not about to do this to my earth angel. This person came down here on a mission to teach people about unconditional love. Not that bullshit shit that you people think about under 3D. Money, fast cars, big booty girls, fame, clout, that material shit. The surface level type shit. This person came down here to teach people about unconditional love from the heart. What matters the most. You're not about to taint her. 
You're not about to sell to, or bind her soul to the devil. Hell fucking no. God had to step in. Damn deep regret. Damn regret. What does this person want to do? Yeah, they want to come in with truth and clarity. They want to celebrate with you. Ace of Cups, love offer, gift from God. Nine of Wands, that's your spirit guide with that torch. They want to come in. Cool. The Emperor. The Emperor wants to come in. He is being guided by his spirit guide to come in with this what? Ace of Wands. Offering of a new beginning after gaining the wisdom of what he did. Look, he got the last chess piece in the board. He's like, I got to do this right. I gotta do this right, man. And she, and his spirit guy's like, yes, you, you fucking do. You got one more shot. You better fucking do this right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's scared. This is what he did to you. This is what he did to you. He's scared. But he has a lot of love for you guys. Um, he's drowning in emotions. Yeah. The world. He has a decision. He has a decision. Completion. They thought they were untouchable. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Look at this. They're coming, guys. I put this deck down. At the bottom of this deck is the Ten of Cups. Complete happiness. Ultimate achievement. Like, com happy life, happy wife, happy kids, happy home, happy everything, right? I said, what I wanted to finish saying was, what does he want to come in here and do? This emperor. And these are the cards that spilled out. He wants to come in with this offer. This, this, this message. He wants to send a message of, of, of an offer, commitment. He's manifesting this. He's in the process of manifesting this. There's fast communication coming in. Chariot talks about fast moving communicate, fast movement. Okay, he's coming in fast with a message, an offer, because he's manifesting this. Ten of Cups, another Ten of Cups. Happy wife, happy life, happy kids, happy everything. He wants to come in with this ace, this ace of pentacles, this this um commitment, this love, this commitment, spiritual commitment, and God. This is the hand of God right here, bringing this offer down. That's why the wheel of fortune is here. Fruition. He wants to come out of the cold with you. He wants to get out of the cold. You guys have him in the cold. <laughs> 